Hello there, I'm Janitor Bob, and thanks for joining us here on Kids Crossing. I realize that I forgot to change the calendar here in my office. It's April already. Have you ever heard the saying, April showers bring May flowers? You probably have. I was thinking about that today. Over the winter, it seems like everything in nature is dead. The trees have no leaves, the flowers have died, the grass is brown, we see no signs of life. But then, after it starts to rain, we begin to see a change, and things are being resurrected. Resurrection means to be raised from the dead. We know that the plants are not really dead, they are dormant, waiting around for spring again. But every spring, when I see the colors returning to the plants, I'm reminded of the resurrection we have in Jesus. John chapter 11, verse 25 tells us that Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus actually raised many people from the dead while he was, lived on earth. And today in Kids Crossing, you will hear a story about one of the people Jesus raised from the dead. But the word resurrection also describes what will happen to all of God's children after they are finished living here on earth. Our dead bodies will be given new resurrection bodies in heaven. It may sound confusing, but I think you'll understand after you visit with everyone on Kids Crossing. Why don't you visit Miss Lisa and Jemima? I saw them in the library waiting for Miss Susan. Okay, let's see if we can find that book about butterflies. Oh, 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 I like butterflies. They, they are pretty. Yes, butterflies are unique. Oh, you, unique. That's a pretty name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name my butterfly Unique. No, <laughs> unique means special. They're special because they're born from another creature's death. I don't understand. Well, a butterfly begins its life as a caterpillar. A caterpillar is a very different creature than a butterfly. Uh-huh, ca caterpillars, they, they, they got lots of legs, and they're sort of like worms. Worms are nasty. I don't like worms. But a caterpillar is meant to become something very different. Uh-huh, a, a beautiful, colorful, flying creature. Butterflies are amazing, but I've always liked how they can teach us about the resurrection. What is the resurrection? Resurrection means to rise from the dead. Oh, 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 the, the caterpillar dies and gets buried in the cocoon and then it gets not dead again when it changes to 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 a butterfly is is that what you mean <laughs> i guess you could explain it that way you see the story for today is about a man named lazarus who died and was resurrected by jesus oh oh was 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 he a caterpillar first and then and then he turned it into a butterfly? <laughs> no, <laughs> he was always a man, but he was very sick and he died. His sisters were very sad and asked Jesus to come. Oh, cause, cause, cause Jesus was strong and, and, and he could stop him from being dead. Well, that's partly true. Mary and Martha also wanted Jesus to know that Lazarus was sick because Jesus and Lazarus were very good friends. Oh, 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 did, did Jesus call on the phone? No. Oh, then, then, I know, I know, they sended him an email. I got an email for my, for my teacher the other day. That was fun. <laughs> no, back when Jesus lived on earth, they did not have phones or computers. Get out. <laughs> then, then how, how did they talk to each other if, if, if they lived it far away? 
they could only communicate through messages carried by other people. Oh, 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 like the mailman. Well, sort of like that. Anyway, when Jesus got the message about Lazarus being sick, oh, 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 I know. He, he got it into his car and drove it right to Dale House so he could help Lazarus. Or, um, no. <laughs> they didn't have cars either. Oh, oh, didn't, didn't. Let me guess, let me guess. He took did his bicycle. Uh, no, they didn't have bicycles either. Oh, didn't, didn't they needed a tricycle? Because they were not old enough to ride a bicycle. They, they could have used training wheels. No, no, none of those had been invented yet, Jemima. They had to walk from place to place or ride horses or donkeys. Oh, maybe, maybe his donkey was named Kevin. I like that name. Okay, let's just get back to the story. You see, after Jesus got the message about Lazarus, he, he, he wandered over to see Lazarus because cause, cause he wanted to help his very good friend. Um, no, that didn't happen either. This, this is a very confusing story. I, I thought you said that, that, that Jesus was his good friend. He, he, he needed to help his friend. Well, the disciples were sort of confused too, but something amazing was about to happen. Oh, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me. Well, just be patient. First, we need to be sure that we have the book and we have all the craft supplies so that we can make butterflies like this in Sunday school. Oh, you know what, you know what? We, we can, can, can look at the pictures and then cut a, a butterflies like in the pictures. But everyone can make their own unique butterfly. Wait, I thought you said unique was not a name. Well, I, I meant that everyone can make their butterfly to look different from all the rest. It means special, remember? Oh, yeah. We, we, what do we need? Well, we just need the coffee filters and markers and we need the chenille stems. And, 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 the, and, the, and the, the soy bottle, yes, and the clothes pigs. Clothes pigs? You, oh, <laughs> you mean clothes pegs. Oh, yeah, I forgot it. But the, the book, it, it, it will show us some colorful ideas. That's right. God created some beautiful butterflies, but each of us, He's also created to be unique or special children. Jesus loved Lazarus so much that he cried when he got to the tomb where Lazarus was placed. Jesus, Jesus, he, he loves us too? Yes, he does. Jesus' love is so amazing. His love can change our lives. In many ways, our change is similar <laughs> to that of a caterpillar changing into a butterfly. Do, do, do we, we have to make a cocoon? <laughs> no, but it's, it's like dying to our life without Jesus and then being give a, given a new life with Jesus. I am only two years old. This is very confusing. <laughs> I know, Jemima. The most important thing to know is that Jesus loves you and he's always with you. Hey, that, that, that's what Senator Bob says at the end of Kids Crossing. Indeed it is. Well, we better get going. Hi. Oh, oh hi, Miss Susan. We were just 
needing to check out a book about butterflies and how they change into caterpillars. Did you find the one you were needed? Yes, we did. Thank you very much. And, and, and now we can, we can listen to your story. And, and look, my, my little butterfly can listen too. I am sure your butterfly will enjoy it. You can sit right over here on the cushions. Okay, Jemima, you may stay, but you need to promise to listen quietly. I'll get things ready for the crafts. I, I will be a good listener. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Good morning, boys and girls. Jemima, my story today is about Lazarus, the same Lazarus you were talking about with Miss Lisa. Remember, Lazarus was one of Jesus' closest friends. And when Lazarus died, it made Jesus very sad. But Jesus knew that God had a special plan. Let's read and find out what happens. Our book is called, Get Up, Lazarus. A man named Lazarus was very ill, so sick people thought he was dying. His sisters, Mary and Martha, saw even doctors were not worth trying. Yet one they knew of could still help, Jesus, the Messiah and Master. If only he'd come to Lazarus' side, the reason for hope would be vaster. So Mary and Martha sent Jesus a message. They hoped he'd answer it quickly. But the messenger walked an entire day while Lazarus grew even more sickly. The weary messenger saw Jesus at last. He was preaching and teaching forgiveness. As the disciples made way, the man managed to say that the sisters had sent him on business. The man spoke, Lord, a beloved friend is sick and is probably dying. Worry not, said Jesus. This isn't the end, although there may be much crying. It's not time for me yet to go to his aid. In this sickness, God's son will gain glory. So they waited two days, and then Jesus said, To Lazarus, let us now hurry. Before they arrived, Jesus took them aside, saying, Lazarus is already sleeping. But they didn't get what Jesus meant, and said, Sleep is no cause for weeping. Then Jesus said, You don't understand. He died. By himself he won't waken. I'll go to him now and I'll show you how to trust that you won't be forsaken. When Jesus arrived at Bethany town, Martha ran swiftly to meet him. Lord, she said, if you'd been with me, Lazarus' life wouldn't have left him. But I know even now, Martha announced, that God will grant your request. With a smile, he said, you are correct. Your brother will rise from his rest. Know that I am the life for all who believe. For them, death will be overcome. Martha said, Lord, I believe it is true. You are the Christ, God's own true son. The sisters and Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus, dead for four days. In sadness, Jesus wept for his friend. His love was an open display. Jesus told people to remove the stone that blocked the door to the tomb. Scared of a stench, they rolled it away and stared fearfully into the gloom. Jesus prayed to his Father for all to believe that he was God's Son, the true King. In a powerful voice, he called into the tomb, Lazarus, come out now, be seen. Wrapped up in a cloth from the tomb walked, Lazarus, the man who had died. Lazarus lived because of God's love. Jesus' friend was now at his side. Not long after this, Jesus hung on the cross and died to forgive all our sin. The third day, Christ rose like Lazarus had, so to heaven we may rise like him. In heaven he reigns while in glorious strains, 
saints sing with the angels above. By faith in God's Son, we are given a home, a new life of forgiveness and love. So now we may shout with a heavenly crowd the good news that Martha knew well. Jesus is the Christ, God's great sacrifice of his story forever will tell. Wow, what an amazing story. Did you hear how Lazarus died? But Jesus made him come alive again? That is a miracle. A miracle is something that only God can do. God has power over all things, even death. And when Lazarus died, Mary and Martha were very sad, but they still trusted Jesus. They knew Jesus was the Son of God. He had the power to help if it was God's plan. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even though he dies. Because of Jesus, when we die, we know that death isn't the end. We will live forever with Jesus. That is a true gift from God. And just like God helped Lazarus, God can help you in your life too. He loves you very much. If you have a problem, you can pray to God for help. And he promises to hear you. God wants to help us. Sometimes it is not in the way we expect. Mary and Martha wanted Jesus to come right away to heal Lazarus. But God had a different plan, a better plan. That is what is so amazing. Nothing is impossible with God. Jemima, I hope you and your butterfly enjoyed the story today. Oh, oh thank you, Miss Susan. It, it, it was great. <laughs> and I am all finished setting things up for the craft. We better get ready for the boys and girls. You can come too, Miss Susan. <laughs> Every year, we plant many flowers in our garden which attract beautiful butterflies. When I see those butterflies landing on the flowers, I'm thankful for two things. First, the beautiful way that God created the world we live in. And second, I'm thankful for the new life I have because of Jesus. I have new life here on earth but I have a glorious life waiting for me in heaven. Good morning, boys and girls. We are in the season of Lent. It's not like the other seasons of spring or summer or winter. No, this is a season where Christians around the whole world take special time to remember what Jesus did for us by dying on the cross. Now, dying isn't a very fun word. It means people are so sick or so hurt that they stop living. It's really quite terrible. But you know what? Because of Jesus, we don't have to be so afraid of it. Because Jesus makes a promise to us in our lesson today. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. John eleven twenty five. 25. And isn't that a great promise? That even though people do get sick, and even though people do get hurt, and even though people do die, Jesus is stronger than death, and he gives eternal life for free. He promises that all who trust in him will go to be with him in heaven. He promises that we will rise and live again. And you know what? He proved it. He proved it when his friend Lazarus got sick, real sick, and he died. And he had been dead for a few days, but it didn't matter. Jesus brought him back to life. He didn't do surgery. He didn't give him medicine. No, no, he just used his words. Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus did. Because when Jesus says something, it happens. Because he is true God, and what he says goes. Seriously, who's going to argue with him? Not me. He is the strong one, stronger than death. And Jesus is on our side, which is really cool. And I know he's on our side because as we remember here in Lent, he died for us. He went to the cross to take our sins, all those bad things we've done, to take them away from us. Would he die for someone he didn't care about? Never. And he died for you. 
So let us trust his promises are for us too. He is the resurrection and the life. He proved it again when he rose from the dead at Easter. And people saw him alive again, and they were amazed. And so they told others. And people hurt them and killed them for talking about Jesus, but they didn't care. They weren't afraid of dying because they knew Jesus gave them eternal life. So I hope you remember, you don't have to be afraid of anything because Jesus gives you eternal life. So have a great day knowing Jesus is the resurrection and the life. I often wonder what it was like on that day that Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. I imagine Lazarus' family and friends could not believe their eyes. The great sadness that had surrounded them after Lazarus died was gone, replaced by great joy and thanksgiving. And Jesus gave them the gift of life that day, but Jesus gives us the gift of life too. We have the promise of life everlasting. Remember the verse? I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Oh, my goodness, you surprised me. I was sitting here reading my Bible and I didn't realize you were there. When I get surprised, it makes my heart beat really fast. Can you imagine how Mary, Martha, and the disciples were when they saw Lazarus walk out of the tomb? That must have been a huge surprise. You know what else gets my heart to beat very fast? When I get up and exercise, let's get up and do some moving together. Let's start just by stepping side to side. Doesn't it feel good to feel your legs moving? Now, let's try to take two steps in each direction like this. Wow, you really catch on to things quickly. Let's try and do a little dance with what, what Jesus said. Let's step this way and say, Jesus said. Jesus said. And then we'll step the other way say, and say, I am. And then let's stop and put our arms up high and say the resurrection and put our arms out to the side and say, and the life. Okay, this is a lot, but I bet you can do it. Ready, let's begin. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Let's do it two times in a row. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Great job. Let's just step side to side again. How many of you have really good friends like Jesus does? I bet it's pretty cool that in the Bible, it tells us about the special friendships that Jesus had with Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha. Let's sit down a bit and rest. Can you roll your shoulders in circles? I hope you have many wonderful surprises with your friends. Friends are such cool things that God gives us. Can you imagine how boring life would be if we didn't have any friends? Now let's move those shoulders up and down. God gives us so many wonderful gifts. He wants us to share them with everyone, with our sisters and our brothers and our friends. It's important that we keep our bodies moving so we are strong and healthy to help someone when they need our help too. Have a great week. And remember to make healthy choices. Love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. Love the Lord with all you are. Love Him all the time. Love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. Love the Lord with all you are. Love
Jesus always pointed people to His Heavenly Father. He wanted Mary, Martha, and everyone else to know that God's power is stronger than death. God has given us lessons in creation that help us understand that resurrection power. The flowers, the trees, the butterflies are some of those amazing things in creation that point to God's glory. And one day, we will be given new bodies in heaven. Please join us again next week on this same channel, and remember that Jesus loves you and He's always with you.